everyone, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com and today we're making cheesy shrimp cakes. This is the best way to make a pound of shrimp go a long way. And do not skip that lemon aioli sauce, it makes these irresistibly delicious and they always disappear fast. We'll start with one pound of large shrimp that have been peeled, deveined, and patted dry with paper towels. Chop your shrimp into small pea-sized pieces. The finer you chop them, the easier they'll hold together as shrimp cakes. Transfer your chopped shrimp meat to a large mixing bowl and add one and a half cups or four ounces of shredded mozzarella cheese, one large egg, a quarter cup of mayo, and two tablespoons of fresh parsley. Season with half a teaspoon of salt and an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper, then stir it all together, and finally add one fourth cup of all-purpose flour, and you can substitute with gluten-free flour if you prefer. Stir until creamy and well combined. We're ready to saute. Place a large nonstick pan over medium heat and add one tablespoon of olive oil. Once the oil is hot, add the batter one heaping tablespoon at a time, or use a level ice cream scoop and flatten out the tops of the fritters as you go so they're about half an inch thick patties. Saute for three minutes on each side or until they're golden brown at the edges and fully cooked through. Once they're done, transfer them to a serving platter and cook the remaining shrimp cakes, adding more oil as needed. Oh, I am excited. <laughs> All right, now for the next step, the sauce. The lemon aioli is everything, so do not skip it. So we're gonna whip that up real quick, and all you need is half a cup of mayo. So we're gonna get that into a small bowl. And a tip that I learned is if you want any kind of mayo-based sauce to be super creamy, mix it before you add anything else into it. That way you get rid of any little lumps, and it becomes super smooth. All right, um, now we are going to zest a lemon, and we'll need about a teaspoon of lemon zest. And make sure you're just getting the yellow part and not the white, because the white can make your sauces taste a little bitter. But all the good flavors in that yellow peel. Okay, that looks good. Now, two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. The sauce is so simple, but totally delicious. Okay, and I'm gonna use my favorite measuring spoons. If you don't have a set of these, they are awesome. They stack so that you can store them easily and conveniently, and they don't get lost, <laughs> which is a frequent problem in my kitchen. <laughs> and I'll post a link to these in the description below. <laughs> I love the fresh lemon in there. Okay, and then one clove of garlic, and that's a large clove that I've pressed, and then just stir it up. All right, just until it's creamy and smooth, and then serve it up with these finger licking good shrimp cakes. Oh, everybody loves this sauce, I'm telling you, don't skip it. All right, it is time for the taste test, the moment I'm always waiting for. <laughs> We could just fast forward to this part every time. All right, and I want you to look at what's inside of these. Oh, <laughs> yum. Okay, Ooh, these are still a little bit hot. Okay, and then right into that sauce because mm, it's so good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. These are so good. <laughs> wow. Loaded with cheese and so much flavor. This is seriously one of my favorite ways to make a pound of shrimp go a long ways. <laughs> These are so good. And you can really taste a little fresh pop of parsley in there. Wow. <laughs> if you enjoyed this recipe, give me a great big thumbs up below. <laughs> if you didn't like this recipe, you should still give me a great big thumbs up below. <laughs> Please subscribe to our channel and we'll see you later. Hey, before you go, make sure to check out some of our most popular shrimp recipes right over here. They'll knock your socks clear off, unless you don't wear socks. Hmm. <laughs>
And please click below to subscribe. And when you do, click that little bell icon so you'll get notifications every time we post a new recipe. We'll see you later.